My name is Angus and I'm 14 years old. I've always lived in a small village with my parents and my grandmother Mary, who I used to spend more time with. At school, they always told me that I looked like a big boy. I used to use old savings and my grandmother dressed me in clothes inherited from my older cousins, so some people used to make fun of me because of that. <laughs> I never cared. I was a happy child. I loved to spend my afternoons in the family garden, planting or picking vegetables, and taking long walks with my grandmother and our dog, called Panda. Everything was perfect until a year ago when my grandmother died. She was very old, but I had a hard time coping with her loss. On top of that, after we moved to the nearest town, there was no longer anyone who could stay with me while my parents worked. In the city, it was easier to find a nanny to take care of me. The move for me was quite a trauma. I didn't like being locked up in a flat. How could I entertain myself all afternoon with no garden or field to run through? It was hell. I miss my granny and my dog so much. He stayed with my uncle in the village. At my new school, I had some pretty good classmates, and they tried to incorporate me, but I didn't make it easy. I just lived in bitterness, lamenting all the changes I had to undergo. <sighs> At home, it was more of the same. My parents tried to give me all the comforts, but nothing helped. <sighs> Every time we went to buy clothes, I didn't like anything. I wanted to keep my grandmother's style. I wanted old clothes, and I wanted to be noticed. They started worrying about me. One day I heard them say that the best thing would be to go to a psychologist. Yes, of course, they worried at the right time. Things got worse. One afternoon when my nanny left, I started thinking about what I could do to spend time with things I really liked. That's when I got the idea. While my mother was preparing dinner in the kitchen, I took her credit card from her purse to do some shopping. I had never done anything like that before, but it wasn't really that bad. I'm sure my parents didn't mind. Two days later, everything I asked for arrived, just at the time I had indicated when I was alone. It was a few flower pots, sacks of earth and some seeds. I had also added a few tools. When I opened the door, the delivery man asked me laughingly where the terrace was. We don't have one, I said, shocking him. Huh? I put everything away as I could in the room that was empty. I felt tremendous nerves. My nanny arrived immediately. I tricked her into saying that I wanted to study alone, and I started to work. By the time my parents arrived, the garden was set up. My nanny spent quite a bit of time on her mobile, so she didn't hear anything. But it was grateful that I was so distracted that afternoon to be with her things. I told them I had a surprise. They had another one too. I took them by the hand and led them to the door of the room. I opened up and showed them my garden. Whoa. Their faces were a real poem. My mother only shouted things I couldn't even understand. At that moment, Panda rushed out from between her legs. Oh my god, my dog! When I saw him, I ran to meet him. I wanted to see him so badly. My parents looked at me angrily. They said they had brought him back to cheer me up a bit. But after that disaster, they were going to take him back and punish me for a long time. I wonder why they didn't like what I prepared. No garden and no dog. My life sucks. Does your life suck as well and you want to share it with us? Send us your story to storiesmylifesucks at gmail.com. And don't forget to follow us on social media to find out if you are the protagonist of our next video.